OK, we're nearly done with our map. It's now time to put some text onto our map. To do this, I'm going to use the text tools down here. Now there are two different text tools that you can use. The first tool on this side, on the left, actually places text words onto your map. This tool here sets the default font and font size. So I'm going to click on that to get our default font size up. The size is not measured in typical font sizes in Campaign Cartographer. It's actually set to the map scale. So if we're working on a imperial map with miles, then our font is going to be sized in miles. In this particular case, I'm going to want to create a nice big heading for our map. So I better make it about, I'd say, 15 miles high. We will create, we'll select a font, with the more font option here, and we'll find something that will suit our map. No, don't like it, don't like it. No, no, ooh, that's not too bad. That's the one I want, a nice bold font. Click on OK. Currently, we're on the symbols sheet. Well, if we're placing text, I really don't want it to go on the symbol sheet. I want it to go onto its own sheet. So I'm going to click on the sheet in the status bar and come down till I find text. Mark that as the one we want to use. Click on OK. There you go, it's text. And I don't want the layer to be coast and sea. I would like it to be text labels. Great. So we've set our font size and type. All we now need to do is click on the add the text. And we're going to call this Parrot Death Island. Dar me hearties. And we'll place it nicely in the middle and just slightly down. Bingo. Whoa, it's bright red on a blue background. That's pretty hard on the eyes. The reason for that is, of course, we've still got red selected as our color. So how do we change the color here? Easy. You use the Change Properties tool. Click on your text. Right click. Do it. Then we can change the color to anything we want. In this case, I want a slightly off-white creamy color. Click on OK and OK. Let's redraw our screen. And there it is. Now you notice that it's got a bit of an effect on it already. It's sort of blending into the map, but not in a very particularly attractive way. That's because we've used the text sheet. I'm going to click on our sheets and effects and scroll down. When we selected the, uh, the the default style sheet from Campaign Cartographer, it already had a text sheet in it, and it already had an effect, a glow. Let's click on that glow, edit. The glow is a white glow around the outside for five miles. Not really appropriate for our style of drawing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to being a good dark blue color, and I'm going to click on OK, and then OK. Save now. So now you can see that our title is a little bit stronger. I'm also now going to add some text labels. If we use text labels to name various elements onto our map, clearly we're not going to want to use the same size or even type of font which means that the style of the font, the sheet that we, we use for it, will be different. So what I now need to do is click on the sheet function here and find a text sheet just for our map labels, not for our map heading. But there isn't one. This means that we need to add a new sheet. To do this, you click on Add, and I'm going to call this text map labels and click on OK. There we go, we now have text map labels down here. Click on OK. Text map labels. 
Excellent. Let's change our color to being an ice cream color. And now let's move and change our font selections. Instead of being 15 miles, we'll make them just 5. That's still pretty big. Now let's name each of our major settlements. I'm going to click on the text tool and I'm going to call the first one Parrot Cove and we'll move the text just in here. That looks good. We're going to add another one over here and we'll call this Johnston. It's a good pirate sort of sounding name. And we'll have another little city up here or town up here. We'll call it Treversville. We've got another one up here. We will call it Grom. There we go. Don't know who lives there, but they're obviously not very friendly. Down in here, we're going to place not individual city names, but just a generic name for the area. And I'd like to curve around these mountains. So far, we've been adding text just in straight lines using this function here, using the text function. If you would like to have some text move around a curve, you first of all need to draw a curve. I'm going to use a smooth path. I'm going to click here, here, and here. You can see that we've now drawn a nice smooth path. I'm then going to come up to the draw toolbar here. Left click and come down to I see text along a curve. I can then move my mouse and click on the curve in question and type in 